What's good, y'all? What's up? What's up? Appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. We're chilling. We're chilling. Y'all know exactly what time it is. We're back here to serve some more game on the ground for the Munger Hounds. We just got the pound and are ready for the next round, man. With that being said, I hope everybody's having a good day today. Good day, good night tonight, whatever the case may be. Uh, my day's been pretty good, pretty chill, pretty regular, average day in the regularly scheduled program. Uh, let me know how you guys' day is going down there in the comments below, whether it's been a good day, bad day, interesting day, entertaining day, productive day, whatever the case may be, we can talk about it, we can not talk about it, it don't matter to me, I don't really care. I'll be saying things just to make me sound nice, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. Deep down in my heart, I really don't care. It's like, it's like tricking a fish to, uh, bite the bait, set the hook, and you reel it in, just like them old country folks say. Yeah, 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 no, I told, I was told that by my old friend Catfish. But no, man, uh, <clears throat> we're back here to talk about something else, something that I've seen uh, and heard about earlier today. Well, i seen it the other day, but then I really heard about it today. And it's just like, man, this is the type of stuff that you can't make up. This is the type of stuff you can't make up, and this is the type of stuff that they expect our kids to look up to. Can't make this stuff up, y'all can't make this stuff up at all whatsoever so if you guys are interested in hearing what it is that we're talking about uh stick around is he scared to match alex and oh you know he's scared because he understands the power and the uh he understands the power that alex has behind those punches i told y'all a long time ago i told y'all a long time ago that uh Alex had some, some strong punches and strong kicks. He wasn't playing around with those punches and those kicks. You know, when I was dissecting their fighting style before their uh, their first fight in the UFC. Um, he, 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 don't, he, don't, he loves punching strong. He loves going for that knockout. But with that being said, man, more and more... Male industry plants are dressing like females for our children and our youth to look up to because they know that our children and our youth are very impressionable. What do I mean by this? Well, the boy, I think his name is Webby or whatever his name is. I seen a picture of him and he was he was modeling like a female. He had a crop top on with a little a little Look like I don't know if it was a fur coat or some kind of trench coat or whatever. But you can't make the stuff up. And let me actually see if I can find the picture real quick. Uh, let me pull this up real quick. Then y'all really don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, boosie homeboy. Can't make this stuff up, man. Let me see here. Yeah, it looks the first thing that came up. Uh, here it is, right here. Yep, this is what. Hold on, let me turn the brightness down so y'all can see better. This is what they be trying to get our youth to do. Look at that. He got a sports bra on. He got a female trench coat on. He's sagging his pants. He. Stop. Um, but he got. He <laughs> Stop. I don't want to picture that, man. Uh, but no, he got a sports bra on. He got a female trench coat. He got a fedora, and he's sagging his pants. What quote unquote gangster wears a crop top with a female trench coat and sags his pants? Last time I knew, the only place they did that was in prison. You know, they dress their their prison boys up to be like a female, so they make it more desirable for them. When they when they pass them around and turn for some ramen noodles or for some uh, Kool Aid powder or whatever the case may be, 
that's the last time I knew that they did that was in prison. But now they're doing this out here on the streets. And you can't make the stuff up. And it's always the people who sit here and claim that they hard. They claim a set. They claim to be this, that, and a third. And guess what they do? Guess what they do? They turn around. They pull their pants down. Pull their shirt up like this. Like they're in a crop top. Can't make this stuff up. Uh, and then they put a female trench coat on with a fedora hat. <sighs> what is society coming to, y'all? Last time I knew, only the ladies dressed like that. Only the females dressed like that. Last time I checked. Nowadays, it's dudes dressing like that, trying to get other bo young boys to dress like that. Nowadays, it's dudes who like getting three fingers just like this, straight up their man cave, just like that, and do the come here motion. Nowadays, it's dudes that like to throw on a speedo and jump up on stage at a male club and start dancing around the pole. And now he's saying he's going to crash out because people are talking about the fit. I hope he crash out. Yeah, yeah, no. I hope he crash out and I hope he gets sent to prison. I hope he crash out and I hope he get a life sentence. And I hope everybody in prison has seen the way he dress. That way they know to bend him over and uh, um, make him the prison, the, the, uh, the prison, the prison block made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope he becomes the prison block made. I hope he crash out. And I hope he stay there. Because that's where he needs to be, behind bars. He likes dressing like a female, right? Let him, let him be a female behind bars. He'll get plenty of it. He will get as much of it as he wants. Non-stop. Um, that's crazy, man. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. You can't make this stuff up. Dudes. Grown dudes. It's crazy, man, when you really look at where society is going and how we applaud this type of stuff and this type of behavior and all these different things that people do uh, all in the name of quote-unquote acceptance, which really is not. It's just a, uh, something to hide their true intentions behind. What they really want is to legalize the attraction to minors, to little kids. That's why they target our children. They want to legalize attraction to minors as young as. I think I heard somebody trying talking about how they was trying to legalize, make the 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 age of consent to like nine, like four or five months ago. I heard somebody was talking about how they was trying to change the age of consent to nine years old. That's what they really want to do is they want to legalize the attraction of minors so that the people that are in power in leadership positions don't get in trouble if they get caught. They get told that it's, oh, well, it's okay. Well, you know, it's legal now, so it don't matter. It does matter. They are children. And these artists, these influencers, these rappers, YouTubers, whatever the case may be, who sit around and dress like this and push these type of agendas are all a part of it. You know why? Because they all partake in the attraction of minors too. They're all a part of the same group. Leadership, artists, rappers, influencers, YouTubers. Everybody who pushes that agenda, that ideology, they are all a part of the same group. And we all know what group they are. We all know what group they're in. I don't need to say it, is there? Hold up, y'all. Am I tripping? I think I am tripping. Was I tripping? I think it was. I think it was tripping. I felt like I had something crawling on me. Uh, but no, man, it's, they, they all push the same ideology. And they all mess with kids behind closed doors as their quote-unquote ritual, whatever you want to call it. They all do it. 
they're all a part of it. Why do you think they get to be so fa as famous as they are? Why do you think they all get to be as big as they are? Because they're all a part of it. Your favorite rapper is a part of it. Your favorite uh, actor is a part of it. Your favorite uh, influencer is a part of it. Your favorite model is a part of it. They're all a part of the same thing. They all partake in it. And isn't it crazy how we on here to spread awareness to the, the, the desolation of children and people worry about what I'm wearing. People worry about what's on my head or what's not on my head. People worry about what's behind me or what's not behind me. When we're talking about something that's real and serious and a real problem within our communities, people come in here and worry about what another man is wearing. Isn't that something? Instead of listening to the message, they get caught up in the, the features of the character. Y'all be the type of people that allow this stuff to happen to your kids. And it's a shame. You can't make this stuff up. Everybody who is in the type of industry. Look, we got another one. We got another one right here. We got another one right here. Everybody who is a part of this industry, who is a part of the leadership roles, anybody who is on such a high level, famous wise, money wise, whatever the case may be, is because uh, because they've all done it. They've all messed with kids. They have all they've all done it. They've sold kids. They've bought kids. They've uh, they've sacrificed them. They've done all these things, all in the name of money, all in the name of clout, uh, fame, wanting to be heard wanting to be seen, they sell their souls, for all this type of stuff, they do it, and y'all sit here and say, nah, this ain't real, it's been out in your front of your faces for a long time, the symbols, the symbols, uh, the, the, the hand symbols, all this stuff. It's all been out. The symbols. It's all been in front of your face. The whole time. But y'all don't pay attention to it. So maybe if you do your own research and realize. Our society. That's not a free society. The world ain't free. Why do you think you gotta pay money just to live on the planet that you're born on? Why do you think you gotta pay for water that is naturally given to us by God provided from the earth or food that is given to us by God provided by the earth why do you think we have to pay for all these things because our society ain't free our world ain't free our resources ain't free when they're supposed to be they're not money is a man made construct money shouldn't even exist and yet it does because it's the one thing that controls everything around the planet. Money shouldn't even be a thing. We would be perfectly fine if we had, if there was, if no money on this planet existed, we would be perfectly 100% fine. Grow your own plants. Grow your own food. Breed your own cattle, sheep, cow, goats. Uh chickens whatever the case may be that's your food source the water comes from the earth right there's your water source that's all we need but everything resolve, revolves around money because this society is not free and with that being said 
I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mommies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. With that being said, I'm out of here for the night. Deuces.